that James plays games. <laughs> James thought he could get rid of me by making my unbearably explosive body detonate. But the joke's on him, as I have an infinite number of copies surrounding the school. What? What are you doing? No! Stop infecting me with malware! No! All right. I think he's gone for good. Welcome to James Plays Games. I'm James, and I, uh, I play games? Just when you thought there was no escaping Hope's Peak Academy, NIS America and Spike Chunsoft have made it so that mostly everyone can experience the sequel to Trigger Happy Havoc, which I remark as an infinitely better sequel in every imaginable way. Without further ado, let's take a look at Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair, originally entitled Super Danganronpa 2 Sayonara Zetsubo Gakuen, originally released in the West for the PlayStation Vita on September 2nd, 2014, and for PC on April 28th, 2016. While the premise is largely the same as its predecessor, there are key differences. Where in Trigger Happy Havoc you were trapped within Hope's Peak Academy, in Goodbye Despair you are trapped on the seemingly deserted Jabberwock Island. Where you were with one group of students in the first game, there are many new and familiar faces in this sequel. However, those of you who have played the first game will find that Goodbye Despair kept the parts from Trigger Happy Havoc that were enjoyable, such as the class trials, the third person exploration, and improved upon them in nearly every way. Before you suggest that Goodbye Despair is just more of the same thing, I'd like to pause for a moment and let me tell you why you've never been more wrong. Yes, the formula from Trigger Happy Havoc makes a return. But with new features such as the ability to walk around the island in a 2D interface, the new environments and character art styles, and much more, it's a sequel that stands on its own two feet rather than overly relying on the first game. Yes, it does help to have played Trigger Happy Havoc to comprehend the universe and overworld, but to be honest, you could probably get through Goodbye Despair without having done so. It's just highly recommended from me to you. As I said earlier, the overall formula remains the same. Explore the island, meet the characters, say goodbye to one of the characters, gather evidence, and participate in the class trial. The biggest complaint that I had regarding the class trials this time around is that the logic they expect you to grasp is kind of far-fetched, but it requires suspension of disbelief just like any other anime-styled game. While the narrator explains that the minigames have been improved, I honestly felt like the Hangman's Gambit, which is making a return from the first game, was made infinitely more difficult, and in the implementation of the Truth Blades to fend off other characters' attacks was also a good idea in theory but didn't really work well in practice, especially when the logic is merciless and you have to know which item works in each scenario, or you'll just end up hurting yourself, literally. I also found that the third-person exploration, at least on the PC version, was a little difficult to maneuver. I can't remember if it was like this in the Vita version, but I definitely noticed it in the PC version. Panic Talk Action also makes a return, and while they do a poor job of explaining how this version of the game is meant to be played, once I got the hang of it, I actually kind of liked this version better than its predecessor. There are other minigames to be uncovered, but as I've only played the first trial for this review, I haven't experienced them since I played the Vita version over a year ago. I very much enjoyed the voice acting in both titles, but especially in Goodbye Despair. Among the notable cast members are Johnny Young Bosch, Bryce Pappenbrook, Kyle Laybear, Todd Habercorn, and Natalie Hoover, among many others. It's one of those games where it just wouldn't be complete without the actors who breathe life into the already compelling characters. It's rare when I can say that a sequel is better than its predecessor, but in this case I can honestly say that Goodbye Despair is a much better game than Trigger Happy Havoc. Don't get me wrong, I still love the first game because Danganronpa is one of my favorite gaming franchises, but this is a case where the studio brought the best concepts and mechanics in the first game into the sequel, and improved on mostly everything. I'm excited to see how much more the concept is perfected when Danganronpa V3 comes out. Thanks for watching James Plays Games! Did you agree with my review of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair? Let me know in the comments, and while you're at it, tell me if there's a game that I haven't covered yet that I definitely should. I'd like to thank Kiba Walker, who voiced Monokuma in this video, for being a part of it. James Plays Games is part of the Pixelation Network. If you'd like to see more news, reviews, previews, and videos like this, check out www.pixelation.com. See you next time!